Hello and welcome to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And in addition, please keep in mind that we've got a series of free webinars this coming week starting on uh, today, Monday, February 29th at 415 following up with another one on Tuesday, March 2nd, and then another on Thursday, March 3rd. So certainly check any and all that interest you. And you can also go to www.pristine.com for the full list of upcoming webinars that we have each and every single week. So definitely, as I said, check that out. We'd love to have you at any and all that interest you. Uh, with that said, Taking a look at where things are at here for this coming week, we've got in the upper left Euro US dollar, which has been slowly and steadily falling back down into the um, support from, from where it had broken out going back to end of January, beginning of February here. So really coming all the way back in, give, giving back the entire move up. Uh, which is an indication of weakness. We'll see where it goes from here. As we take a look at the weekly chart, we see that it's, again, coming back in. Question here now is, does it hold? Uh, will it stabilize and try and make a run back up at that prior high? Or is this going to really weaken things to the point where it's now going to fall through this support on down to the prior low? So jury's still out. Time will tell. We'll have to see where it goes. But in the short term, I mean, you got to start expecting there's going to be some type of reaction down in this area. Moving on over to the right, Aussie dollar, U.S. dollar. This one is slowly and sloppily grinding its way higher here. Nothing really that clean or exciting about this action. It's into support, so probably going to get a bounce. But as far as the trend here, there's not a whole lot of quality. Not not much that I'd be interested in doing uh, from a swing point of view. If anything, you know, you get a good quality uh, or decent looking intraday opportunity where you could pull some pips out. That might make sense, but in in the more intermediate term here, there's really nothing to do. Same thing pretty much with uh, New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar here. It's more or less going sideways, so not really grinding higher, but more sideways movement, although it is on support and could get a little bit of a bounce here. But once again, there's there's no real quality trend in place, and for that reason... Again, you're just going to really be focused on intraday opportunities here where you can grab some pips and and uh, and that's about it. So um, no no real strong bias one way or the other. I mean, until we break down or, or what seems less likely at this point, break out to the upside. But until then, uh, it's just going to be staying nimble on intraday opportunities. U.S. dollar yen here, bottom right, we can see a little double W pattern trying to follow through. Hasn't broken this neckline here, so not really something that we can say has had much follow through at this point. And really, I mean, the trend is still down, so this could just be a little pause within within a larger downtrend. Uh, that That's going to be something we have to see by the end of this week and going into next. But certainly uh, something to watch is, is just the general weakness here that we've gotten. And uh, as we look at this weekly chart, you can see, again, sharp move lower breaking under this uh, this support. So you got this rounded top. And at this point, again, staying weak and we'll see. I mean, does this does this bottoming tail bar green candle from last week have follow through or does it get negated? You know, that that'll tell us a lot about where we go in in, in the uh, next couple days or, or so. But uh, for right now, things are staying weak. We'll look for a move back down to the prior low and then see where it goes from there. Moving on over, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. This one is also uh, weak overall. And uh, as you can see, it's been trending down here, trying to get a little bit of, of stabilization here at the moment. But um, stay again, staying weak, taking a look at the weekly chart. It is into a little bit of support, so you can see why it's trying to hold this area, why we're seeing a bit more uh, indecision on the, on the daily. I mean, you could even see going back to the last couple weeks, it's been trying to hold this area because, again, you've got the support to the left, but 
with the daily trends being damaged, it is putting everything in question here. So uh, right now, you just got to go with the, the weakness of the trend here. Be cautious. Don't really look to jump into anything um, from a swing point of view, per se. But but uh, for intraday opportunities, again, it seems to be the name of the game here for right now is, is a lot of a lot of transitions taking place. A lot of uh, issues need to be resolved here. And until that happens, we're going to want to be more nimble more tactical and finally pound us dollar this one here has been moving lower uh going back towards last week trying to get a little bit of stabilization to start this week which is normal but overall uh, this this could just continue to fall i mean pretty pretty nice downtrend in place in fact one of the nicer trends out of everything we've looked at here so far in this video uh, so that that's something where you may want to focus your attention because it is displaying the highest degree of quality so uh, again we'll see where everything goes but for the most part it's it's more of a tactical type of environment where you're looking to play levels uh, support resistance what have you but as far as longer term opportunities there really seems to be a quite a bit of indecision here and so we're just going to have to wait and see when those time frames align to give us higher odds opportunities uh, so until next time Stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident. And Make sure you like and subscribe to the video. If you have any questions, comment in the comment section below. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.